welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. Happy Wednesday. So it is another what I eat in a day Wednesday. Today I'm going to take you along with me through all of my meals. We have an absolutely delicious, fantastic dinner recipe coming your way that will be on my website. The link to my website is down below in the description box along with the links to a lot of the products that I shared with you, all my favorite things and discounts that I can offer to you, as well as the link to head over and join my Facebook group. We would love to have you be part of our amazing, growing community over there. So head on over and join us. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Make sure you're subscribed and you hit the little bell next to it so you're notified when new videos are uploaded. Give this one a thumbs up if you love what I eat in a days, and let's jump right in. I think it's time. Is it time for treats? Oh, okay. Who's patiently waiting? Oh, buddy, there you go. Good boy. Is it your turn, sweetheart? Here you go, honey. Oh, good job, guys. So I'm gonna make some breakfast and I was gonna show you guys what I'm gonna make because it's a new food find. So if you didn't see my grocery haul that went up on Saturday, definitely check that out. Lots of new food finds. But I found these sweet to toast. So these are from the Cauliflower, the same company that makes those chicken strips that I love, that I eat all the time in my salads. So this is the same company, and these are basically sweet potato toasts. This one is the sea salt olive oil roasted sweet potatoes. Here's the ingredients, you guys. That's it. Potatoes, olive oil, and salt. The other ones that I bought are just the plain sweet potatoes. So I'm going to make a spin on avocado toast using these. So I'm going to have three of these, which is one serving. We're going to top it with, I'm going to make two eggs. I'll probably kind of scramble those up. 60 grams of avocado and then some everything but the bagel. And I think I'm going to cook my little sweet potatoes here in my air fryer. This is my Copper Chef air fryer. I'll link this down below for you guys. You guys know I love this. It's the perfect size for one or two people. So let's pop three of these in the air fryer. So here's what they look like. These are literally perfect, you guys. Look at this for sweet potato toast or any type of toast. Yum. So I'm going to put these in the air fryer. I'm probably going to just put them at most likely like 400 just until they're cooked through. I shake them throughout the process. And then while those are cooking, we'll make the eggs and get the avocado ready. So I'm doing 61 grams of avocado. I just weighed it out on my food scale. I'm just gonna stir in some everything but the bagel and I'll be back to show you breakfast. All right, here is breakfast. I'm so excited about this. So I have three of those sweet potato toasts, two eggs that I scrambled and divided amongst the three, which is a ton, 60 grams of avocado like you saw, and then about three quarters of a cup of fresh blueberries. So guys, look at this. How delicious does this breakfast look? I will put the points and calories here on the screen for you, but I'm starving, so I'm going to dig in. I'm excited. Look what is here. I posted on my Facebook group that My Adventure to Fit had a 20% off sale around the 4th of July, so I stocked up, and you guys, I am obsessed with these three products. You guys know I've been using their pre-workout for a long time. I have the raspberry one. I really like it. It's such a great pre-workout. 
helps me make it through jazzercise, but I upped my adventure to fit game and I decided this time I was gonna go ahead and purchase the greens. And I'm sure you guys have heard about these. This is the banana apple flavor. So you can dry scoop these, which basically means you put the scoop in your mouth, swirl it around with some water and swallow it. It's tart, it's sour, not my favorite. So what I generally do is mix it with about five ounces of water and drink it first thing in the morning. It's a great way to get in some extra greens greens it has good ingredients and no smart points so I like to have that in the morning and then also with another five ounces of water I mix the Cal Meg, which is basically a calcium magnesium substitute so this supports bone health it's sweetened with stevia and it mixes with water this is the pink lemonade again there's no points and basically what this does is it gives you that extra dose of calcium and magnesium, which are both vitamins that a lot of us lack in our body. So in the morning, these are the two things that I will mix up and drink right before I have my coffee. And then she came out with a new flavor of pre-workout. I've always, always just bought the raspberry. This is the pineapple banana flavor. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. This tastes like pina colada. It is so good. I like it better than the raspberry. So this is my new go-to flavor for the pre-workout. She has several, grape, cherry, all the things. Ugh, I'm obsessed. So I'm so excited to dig into this once my raspberry is gone. I think I have a couple more jazzercise workouts before it's gone. So I picked up the pre-workout, the CalMag, and the greens, and I highly recommend all three products. I do have 10% off, I'll link it down below for you guys. But yeah, check out my adventure to fit. These are great vitamin additives, things to throw in your water to help boost your greens and your calcium and magnesium. And then, as you know, I'm obsessed with the pre-workout. So we got a little bit of a triple threat here. So first, I'm gonna show you guys the CalMeg. So what I do is I warm up about five ounces of water add the scoop of the CalMag to the warm water. I'll give it a good stir until it's dissolved. And then I'll pop in either some ice cubes or some cold water and drink it down. And it's really, really good. I mean, it's a lemonade flavor, so it's really, really delicious. So it's that simple. It dissolves really, really well. And then I'll reuse this same cup for the greens. So next are my greens. So this is actually what they look like. They are green. So it's just a very, very small scoop. I'll just pour it into about the same amount of water, five to eight ounces, give it a stir and drink it. And it actually tastes really good. It's sweet, has that little bit of a banana kind of apple -y flavor. It is really, really good. Maybe I'll get to where I dry scoop it, but for now I like to mix it with my water. It is that time, it is kombucha time. It's about 9.30. I like to have this in the morning. I like to have a little bit of something flavored. This is great for your gut bacteria, which I love. It helps keep you a little more regular. I know TMI, it's just really, really good. It has a ton, a ton of health benefits. So I have this whole bottle for 60 calories or three smart points. So kombucha time and then lunch. So here is my lunch for today. Once again, I used my air fryer that I used this morning. Love that thing. So I am having a turkey burger. So it is one of these Applegate organic turkey burgers. These are amazing. They're only 150 calories and I believe three or four points per burger. They are really good. They have fabulous ingredients. I just found these with all of the other turkey burgers at my local Fred Meyer, which is a Kroger store. So I air fried the patty. I have one just Walmart great value bun. Underneath the patty, I have a little bit of sugar-free ketchup or the Primal Kitchen, no sugar added, whatever the clean version is. I have five grams of the Chosen Foods avocado mayo, some sweet pickle slices. It's my favorite thing ever on a burger. I have some cottage cheese here about 150 grams of good culture, my favorite cottage cheese, and about a cup of watermelon. So points and calories are here on the screen, but I've been craving a burger. This sounds amazing. Oh, I was gonna let you guys know that I don't always put cheese on my burger because I don't wanna use the points and calories and I really don't taste it. I don't find that it really enhances the flavor that much, so I just save the points and calories. I prefer the pickle on my burger, so let's eat lunch. Look at what came today, oh, the Fiber Gourmet Pasta. 
mother low. This is my net nutrition order. I was running low on my pasta. If you watch my channel, you know that my husband and I are obsessed with Fiber Gourmet. So I'm gonna show you what I picked up, plus the great way they packaged all these Lily's chocolates back here. So I did buy a ton of pasta. This is one thing that I've actually never tried. This is the Fiber Gourmet Mac and Cheese. So it's 140 calories per serving versus 250 of like Kraft Mac and Cheese. 25 grams of fiber versus two grams, so that's awesome. 25 net carbs versus 47, and eight grams per serving. So how amazing is that? Of course, points will be here on the screen for you guys, so I'm excited to try this. And it does not have too terrible of ingredients either, so I am excited for this. So I picked up one bag. If I like it, it'll definitely be a repurchase. And then I just stocked up on my pasta. So. If you're new to my channel and you don't know about Fiber Gourmet, let me enlighten you because it's a game changer. So this pasta, you can have two ounces, which is a traditional serving of pasta. This is two points for two ounces. If you buy a regular pasta, say a wheat pasta or a protein pasta, a regular white enriched pasta, it's five to six points per serving for two ounces. So you can have the same amount for two points and not only that but it's only 100 calories you get 25 grams of fiber only 17 net carbs and seven grams of protein per serving so you're actually getting protein and all the good things with your pasta we love this my husband loves this pasta if i use any other kind he knows and he asks about the fiber gourmet so that is why i buy so much because we use it all the time so i did pick up three bags of the light linguine now they used to have a spaghetti and i didn't see that on the website so they may have subbed that out with the light linguine now they did reformulate repackage but it's basically spaghetti and then we use a lot of penny so i grabbed three bags of that all of the shapes are two ounces, two smart points. Rotini is the one we probably use the most. So there's four bags, or I'm sorry, five bags of rotini, and then four bags of elbows because we also use elbows a lot. So I'm stocked up for a while. And then I want to show you this. So I ordered some Lily's chocolates. So Nutrition is amazing for no extra charge. They sent me this cute little cooler. So this is definitely a reusable little cooler. It'd be great for lunches at the lake. It came with two ice packs in plastic bags. And in that little cooler was all of my lilies that I ordered. Isn't that crazy? They sent all of that for free in that insulated cooler. It's not melted at all and it's 90 degrees today. And this was on my porch for quite a while. So thank you Nutrition for taking such good care of us. Have you guys seen this? White baking chips, stevia sweetened from Lily's, no sugar added, we're 55 calories per serving. Of course, I'll put points here on the screen. I love white chocolate, so I picked up two bags. I thought, how good would this be in oatmeal, smoothie bowls? It'd be great to make brownies or blondies with, so. I grabbed two bags. If I like it, it'll definitely go on my nutrition rotation. And then of course I did two bags of the dark chocolate baking chips. And then I decided to order a couple of the dark chocolate baking bars because these come in really handy too. Even if you wanna put these, again, in oatmeal or shave them onto smoothie bowls, these actually come in really handy as well. And it looks like 50 calories, about the same as the chocolate chips. So I grabbed two of those and look, hard as a rock. So thank you, Nutrition, for the cute little cooler and for taking such good care. So this is my Nutrition haul, my Fiber Gourmet and Lily's haul. If you're interested in Fiber Gourmet, you can buy this off Nutrition. I'll link it down below for you guys. Love their website so much. Love Fiber Gourmet. So this is currently happening. He loves laying on the grass. That's why you get ticks, buddy. He just loves it. It's nice and cool. He was just sprawled out sleeping. And this one has her head on the pillow. She's covered with blankies. Are you cozy, baby? Oh, yes, sweat. Oh, yes, so cozy. Oh, oh, yeah, so cozy. All right, I'm making a protein shake as always, but today I'm wanting a little extra protein. As you know, I've been tracking my calories and my protein. I don't watch my other macros too much, but I do like to have a hit a protein goal every single day. And for me, that's anywhere between 120 and 165 grams. So today I had some great real whole food, but I wanted a little punch of protein, like a double punch in my protein shake. So this is a concoction that I made up. I had this yesterday. It is so good, you guys. So I have 
to have to share it with you. So I just use my magic bullet in my magic bullet cup. I have one cup of unsweetened almond milk original. I don't buy any of the flavored ones just because they have natural flavors. So this one does not. And that is only 30 calories in one smart point. I like to put in a frozen banana. Sometimes I'll put another fruit. Sometimes I'll use half of a banana. Just kind of depends. But today I'm going to do a full banana. And then I'm going to do one scoop of the Live Well Plant Protein in Chocolate. That's going to give me 17 grams of protein. As you guys know, this is my favorite protein ever. If you are not a fan of plant-based, this does not taste plant-based. This is so incredibly delicious. There's none of that chalky, weird aftertaste. You guys know I'm obsessed. So I wanted to add a scoop of this. That is 104 calories and one point. The ingredients are on point. I mean, the best protein powder ingredients I've been able to find. So I'm going to get 17 grams of protein in that. And then you guys know, I like to put the Lakanto powder peanut butter, but today I'm going to put a scoop of the Primal Kitchen Collagen Fuel in peanut butter. This stuff is stellar too, you guys. I mean, so incredibly delicious. So I'm going to get 80 calories and one point, but I'm also going to get some collagen. And this has really, really good ingredients as well. Nothing to blink an eye at. And this has an additional 11 grams of protein. So between this and my protein powder, I have 28 grams, which is amazing. And then I think there's one gram. Yeah. One gram in the almond milk. So my protein shake is 29 grams, maybe 30 if there's some in the banana. So I can't, this is so good. You guys now the powdered peanut butter is really good as well, but if you need your collagen for the day or you want a little extra bit of protein, definitely put in this. So I'm going to link the primal kitchen collagen and the live well down below with discounts for you guys. So highly recommend let's make this protein shake. there is my protein shake yum i can't believe how much protein i'm getting in for such little calories such little points definitely pick up the live well and the primal kitchen collagen fuel they do have several flavors of live well and the collagen fuel so definitely check out the links down below but this is my afternoon snack it is time for dinner and tonight i am going easy peasy so this would be a great weeknight recipe a busy weekend really low in points everything you need in one meal, super easy. So this is a one skillet pasta. So essentially everything's done in one skillet. So let me show you what's in dinner. First you'll need some pasta. And of course I'm using the fiber gourmet. This is the light linguine, which is essentially what used to be the spaghetti. So basically it's a spaghetti type of pasta. Fiber gourmet is the bomb.com. You can have two ounces of this pasta for only two points. You guys, normal pasta, five to six points for the same two ounces. This pasta is delicious. So it's 100 calories for two ounces. So it's only two points versus 210 calories. You get 25 grams of fiber versus two grams of fiber. Only 17 net carbs compared to 41. So if you're someone that watches your carbs, and this is the best part, seven grams of protein in every two ounce serving. So two ounces of pasta, seven grams of protein, and 25 grams of fiber. It is so good. I've said this before that my husband, this is the only pasta he allows in this house. If I make any type of pasta dish, he asks, is that fiber gourmet? So this is our go-to. The best place to buy this is on Nutrition. I'll link Nutrition down below for you guys. Game changer on WW. Game changer for calories if you really enjoy pasta. So definitely check out Nutrition. Also on the same website, nettrition.com, you can pick up Sucrine Gold. This is the brown sugar alternative that I'm obsessed with. To me, it tastes the most authentic, like real brown sugar. Again, I buy that on Nettrition, so we're gonna use that. You'll need some light cheese, sliced mushrooms. You can do jarred, canned, or fresh, whatever your preference is. Beef broth, a 14 ounce can of diced tomatoes fire roasted, and then a 20 ounce can of diced tomatoes non-fire roasted. Now everything was really picked over at Walmart, so this is what I ended up with was lots of fire roasted. So that's just gonna add a little bit of extra flavor. I have a pound of ground turkey here. This is the 93%. This came in the Imperfect Foods box. So you guys know how I love Imperfect Foods. Produce, sausage, meats, cheeses, anything and everything. 
It helps eliminate food waste by supporting imperfect food. So I do have a link for them below as well if you're interested in helping with food waste. And then a bell pepper, actually that's from Imperfect Foods, and an onion. So let's make dinner. So the first thing I'm gonna do is dice up the pepper and the onion. Just dice it into small pieces, and then we'll start cooking. So in a large pan or cast iron skillet, this guy is a huge one. I bought this at Home Goods recently. I haven't even used it, so I'm excited. We're gonna go ahead and pop in the pound of ground turkey. And then I also diced up both of the onion and the bell pepper. So we're gonna add those as well. Let these kind of cook down, get that turkey nice and browned. Once your turkey is cooked through, everything is nice and soft, your onions, your peppers, we are going to add in a lot more. We're gonna do the 28 ounce can of diced tomatoes. Again, mine are fire roasted, but you can use just regular. And then another 14 and a half ounce can, that one would be generally fire roasted. We're also gonna put in a 14 ounce can of beef broth. This is why you need a large pot. And then I'm also going to put in that jar of sliced mushrooms. And last but not least, I have one tablespoon of sucrin and then I added a little chili powder. I think I forgot to show you guys the chili powder. Then we're gonna give this a stir, let this come to a boil, pop a lid on it and let it simmer for about 30 minutes. Once it comes to a boil, we're actually going to remove the lid and we're going to let it simmer here for about 30 minutes before we put the pasta in and the lid back on. Once your pasta mix has been simmering, we're gonna go ahead and add in the star of the show, the Fiber Gourmet. We're gonna mix that in and then pop the lid on. All right, so the skillet is done. I have one cup of light shredded cheese. I'm just going to add it to the top. I'll throw the lid back on for just a couple more minutes until the cheese is melted. Look at that. I'm gonna go ahead and serve this up. It makes five servings, so it's gonna be quite a large serving. We're gonna top with a little Parmesan cheese and I'll be back to show you dinner and give you the points and the calories. All right, so here is my dinner. Doesn't this look so delicious so i have one fifth of the one skillet pasta i topped it with one points worth of shredded parmesan cheese and then a little bit of parsley so this is a lot this is a full-size dinner plate and it is full so it is six smart points on all plans if you use 93 percent ground turkey and the fiber gourmet pasta if you opt for 99 percent turkey it knocks it down to three smart points per serving on all plans it is 359 calories so this is dinner all right this is dessert i'm having the fudge brownie yasso bar scores of fudge flavor brownie point calories so this is five smart points but only 100 calories this is gonna round out my day, so I'll put my points and calories on the next screen. Thank you so much for joining me on another What I Eat in a Day on WW. I hope you enjoyed seeing all of my food today. A couple hauls, Diesel and Lola. We just had a fantastic day. Definitely check out my website for tonight's dinner recipe. It was delicious, so you don't wanna miss that one. That is linked down below, along with the link to head over and join my Facebook group and discounts to all of my favorite things, including some of the products that I shared with you today. If you are new, make sure that you're subscribed. Hit the little subscribe button and the bell next to it just so you're notified when new videos are uploaded. You don't wanna miss a single one. Give this video a thumbs up again if you love these meal preps. Have a wonderful, wonderful Wednesday and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.